as a captain, it's important to have trust in your teammate. But there also has to be discipline. So today we found Nico sleeping on the couch, and I figured we'll, or we're gonna prank him. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, let me see what happened. I don't know, Nico always talks about, you know, he he never wants to keep any length on his hair, you know, he wants to have like kind of this thug haircut or whatever, you know. So he was talking about getting his hair. Uh, he was talking about getting his uh, haircuts and he was like. I kinda wanted to go to the barber kinda not wanna go, and I was like, fuck it, like, I just helped him out, you know, he was, he was sleeping, why not prank him, you know, just for good fun. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't mind it too much. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's good on it. Right now, you took all in front and nothing in the back. Yeah. So you have to <laughs> make a grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> but do you run out of luck? I'm from Gothenburg, where we have the boot camp, obviously. I'm used to having a rain in the, like during Christmas and New Year's. Uh, but last week we had, or even now it's still out here, uh, there's a lot of snow, basically a snowstorm when we're driving to the wind tunnel. Where I just got my own car and it's like, I wasn't expecting to be able to need to like scrape the windows every day, you know, shoveling snow to get into the building where we boot camp, uh, all of these things. Uh, luckily we have people helping us with all these things and you know, but yeah, it's, a, it's an adaptation, you know, it can pull pretty fast. So the vision me, Nick, and Loda had when we made this team, we decided we chose the players, is that we, want, we wanted a team which is like really hungry, they're excited to come to boot camp, excited to go to tournaments. My expectation is that the new players are going to be like really excited and hearing our ideas, uh, you know, putting a lot of their time, in, like basically investing their life into this and just be excited for it. I'm not going to expect results right away, I think, you know, we have Honestly, our, our team is brand new, like the only uh, repeating factor from last season is Nico on position one. I'm switching position and captain, so like basically you have to see us as a brand new team for the same one. And in terms of results, I think we can do really well. Uh, I'm not going to expect anything right off the bat. What I'm going to expect is that we put up a structure, you know, like how much are we going to practice? What do I expect my players to do? How many pubs, you know, things like this, like how hard are we going to train? How much are we going to work on our strategies together, everything like this, like basically our process. This is what I'm gonna expect a few things about, like I expect everybody to be on time, you know, put in the effort, these sort of things. Secret have no idea that there's a rapier on the field right now. No, let's out. He's gonna be able to get the doom opening. Perfect start to the fight here as they lock down the SF. Arena is blocking some of the hits here for Nico, baby, giving the chance for Nisha to live steal up a little bit, but he's still ticking down low to the doom. Is Nisha actually gonna continue to survive this? BKB's on no Nisha! He starts to heal up! A fantastic arena from Ice 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 blocking out significant damage from the Medusa allows Nisha to survive. And now this fight, buy, which done. may have been the fight yeah, to get some of them back in the game, is going to end disastrously for uh, the uh, Requiem Contest. Uh, Nico, baby, for the Requiem. Alright, can you guys? Yeah. It's never nice to be losing. <laughs> like two opening series, it's not a good feeling for sure. From what we've seen in our practice, and especially the secret games, that you know, we have what it takes to play good Dota. We are just very like it's very hit or miss for now. Um, in the secret series, uh, if we go with game one first, I think that game one strategy it was something that we were more comfortable with. Uh, I think it showed in the game also. It was a very close game. Basically, it came down to very small details overall. Uh, it was a pretty good Dota in my opinion. Uh, as far as game two goes, I think we made some uh, individual errors. On top of that, we also made some drafting mistakes uh, on my end, which I think made that game very, very difficult, very fast. Um, we felt like we had a chance for a little bit, but then, you know, very, very fast, we lost complete control of it. We've recognized like uh, a few problems a few days ago, but it takes like a bit of time to. Uh, get the discipline and get the, the right things going because uh, they haven't been playing competitive for a while before this bootcamp, right? So a lot of people have been pub pubbing many months and 
tends to be that the pub habits kind of stay and then uh, it takes a few days of playing competitive Dota as a team to get the team play going and he doesn't really, like want to walk here, I mean, it's, it's he, bad for him. He pushes the like clumps, that's it. Yeah, we should like understand this, because if we understand that the carry doesn't want to come here, then someone like... Yeah, we're just watching Cole replay some important macro stuff that I think it's super important. Some uh, basic stuff that we need to work on. Since we're a new team, uh, I think a lot of this stuff doesn't just come naturally. You need to show it and people need to understand it. Everybody needs to understand these small things or else uh, the games, they just look kind of bad. Even if we don't do everything right, we will still like watch them and talk about why we didn't do it or why people felt like uh, it was difficult during the game. I went to the other car. He was the same. <laughs> what? He went inside? Yeah, I was gonna sit and I'm like, but who is there? Another guy. Who's like, hey. <laughs> it was another car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Look. In the red one. <laughs> he went to sit in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> What's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> now we're going flying, I think. Hopefully you don't die. How do you feel about this? Are you nervous? <laughs> A little bit. Looks insane. Oh my god. Look. There is not much to say. Uh, not, not much, much to, to leave behind. <laughs> Just don't flee. <laughs> You're the captain, you should go first. Position, show us the way. You show us the way. I'm the last guy usually. Alright everybody. I find you in junior. You guys are group number two, right? Yep. Follow me this way. So most of the suits uh, look like this. Uh, we have a couple that are in uh, superhero theme. So if that's you want to have yeah, that's red. red. Yeah, the Burn. Suit is Superman. Is it your birthday today? No, but I'm Batman. I'm You're Batman? Batman? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> They what sucked. Do you think? They sucked ass. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They were amazing. Uh, they flew uh, a lot on their own, so I was able to let, let them go today, which is uh, quite good for uh, first time flying in the wind tunnel here. So, really good job, guys. <laughs> what is inside? You will see. I have not told you. Is it for us? Yes. Shoes. <laughs> 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 That's insane. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> 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 
I would have never got this. No fucking way in my life. Battery? Battery. I'm so. Dude, I'm gonna die with my, all my cousins with this. <laughs> Thank you, Razor. I love you, Razor. Wait, four to six yourself? Thank you, Razor. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't expect this. This looks new. Nice. This pipe looks like my face. What? There's a headset. Power! It's a noise cancellation headset. Marcus, where's that? Looks pretty good. Bluetooth. Like to open the. I didn't know Razor had these. Apparently, they do. Uh, so, thank you, Razor. I mean, if you don't have noise cancelling, it's really good. I mean, probably. Yeah, they, they, they're not. I, mean, I didn't even know Razor. I don't hear anything anymore. No, it's not on, bro. No, these are not on. It's not on. Yeah, but it, it like still blocks a lot of noise. Yeah, but when it's on, it blocks everything. Really? Yeah, because it's not on. Is that how it works? Yes. I mean, when you put it on, it like... You Turn it on. Press them, it will all... Oh, all yeah. Things. Yeah. Holy shit. So you can adjust it. Let me see. That is the reason for us.